Hi everyone! This look is for Carly Rae Jepsen at the Billboard Awards this year. Uh, we've got a nice bold lip with a sort of a smoky liner and a really shimmery inner corner highlight. If you'd like to see how to do this, just keep watching. So I'm using this eye primer from NYC, my individualized palette. And the reason why I chose this one is because it lightens my eyelid. So to set the primer, I'm going to use this light shade from the same palette, from the NYC palette. I'm going to use a large brush, something like this, fluffy shader brush. And I'm covering my whole eye area. I chose this shade because it's a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone and because it's matte. So it looks like she has something kind of goldy um, covering most of her lid. I'm going to do this area here with this shade from my Stila palette. Um, it's kind of hard to tell what color this is, but I think it's going to work out. I think it's like a gold color. It seems to be a bit of a duochrome, kind of pinky, pinky gold. Um, choose whatever you like. I think she used something kind of goldy. I'm using a fluffy angled shading brush for this. I love these brushes. For our dark liner, I'm going to use this one from my Stila palette. It's just a matte black. And I'm using my wider angle brush. So I'm going to do two thirds of the way on the top lash line and halfway on the lower lash line. Next I'm going to use my smaller angled liner brush and this is Kitten from Stila. It's a beautiful shimmery champagne color. I'm going to do the inner corners here, upper and lower. So I'm going to use a flat shader brush like this one here and I'm just going to blend it out a bit so it's a little softer and smoother looking and I'm going to blend the two together at their little transition spots where they meet. So next I'm going to curl and um, apply mascara to my lashes. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Voluminous again. I've been really liking this mascara lately. I'm going to do quite heavy on the mascara, um, almost a spider lash to compensate for not wearing fake eyelashes. So I've got my eyes all done. Uh, her brows look pretty natural. I'm just going to fill mine in a little bit with this eye pencil. She's wearing like a thick fringed bang so you can't really see her as much anyways. One more thing she has going on in the eye department is a corrector pencil on the lower waterline. On the cheeks, I had a tough time deciding if she was wearing peach or a plum tone blush. I was looking at a few different pictures and it was sort of hard to tell. So I have my peachy one here, my plummy one here. I'm going to pick this middle guy. I think it's a good choice. Um, as per usual with blushes, pick what's best for you. I'm using an angled blush brush and I'm just going to do a regular type blushing here. Nothing unusual. I'm just going to use a larger brush and blend out the edges of that. Lips. She's wearing a, a really nice lip color, sort of a purpley, 
a plummy a cranberry red it's sort of hard to describe I'm gonna line mine with my usual lip liner the pink brown from body shop I think no matter what lip color you're going for if you line with your own lip color it'll always look a little bit better my next step on the lips is going to be a lipstick. This is Maybelline's Blushing Brunette. Sort of a deep pinky color. To make the lips a little more red, I'm going to use this color from my um, Rimmel Urban Seductress palette. It's a nice dark red and it has some gold shimmer to it, which I think works pretty well for this look. So I hope you like this look. We've got sort of a bold lip and a smoky liner with a really pretty inner corner highlight color. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you'd like to see more looks like this or any requests at all, just let me know. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.